We're at a dam. There we go. Good job. <laughs> there you go. Saturday, September 16th. We are in The Hague in the Netherlands. Is it called The Hague? I think it's called The Hague. Hague. I think it's The Hague. We're in The Hague in the Netherlands. We have like a one day trip. So we left this morning from Maastricht. We went to a, a dam and then a dam museum in the morning. And now we're in the hotel. We're in the Hilton. Very nice hotel. Very swanky. And we're here overnight and then we go back tomorrow. But today we have nothing scheduled. So our only plan is just to walk around, see if we can find anything interesting to do. It's raining out though, which puts a damper on. It rains on the parade. No. It's a day of possibility, it's a day of mystery, but it's also a day of rain. Okay, so we're walking to the Miao de I don't know how to pronounce it. Basically there's a mini representation of the Netherlands. What would you call it? Like a, uh, I have no idea. A scaled model? There's a scale model the of the Hague and a lot of the attractions in the Netherlands, but it's mini, so you can walk through it and feel like Godzilla. A lot of our friends are at museums, but we weren't... The day. They're wasting the day going to museums. <laughs> you can do that anywhere. You can go to the museum. Okay, not the same museums no, anywhere, but you could go but to museums. When can you feel like Godzilla? Exactly. Yeah. I've never... I've been to a museum. I've never been to a mini town. So we're gonna go to mini Amsterdam and check it out and feel gigantic. My main goal here is just to feel like a gigantic person in a city of medium-sized people. These are some tiny trees. actually had a drone. Like I said before, some things are tiny, some things are giant, all things are fun. Okay, would you recommend Tiny Netherlands City? Absolutely. God, it's so much fun. That was so <laughs> That I'm was be so much a giant. 
that was so much more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Basically, we started off being very careful, and then we saw other people walking inside of the little people areas, so we started doing it, and once you start pretending to be a giant, it gets 10 times more fun like that. And you can't stop. You can't stop. You can't stop. Once you start, you can't stop. It's too tempting. But being a giant works up a huge appetite. Food time. The trains here ride on the grass, and that's weird. Once you've experienced being a giant, the regular world sucks. It's more upper class. We're looking for the cheaper food than that. Starstruck. It's the original New York pizza. <laughs> How about this $5 umbrella? Because it started to actually rain. Devin is much more money conscious. The <laughs> Little monster. The seagulls can sense your baguette. So our goal today was to walk from our hotel to the water. We have achieved that goal. I'll be honest. I've seen nicer beach days than today. Still a nice view though. Devin has never touched the North Sea. Okay, go do it. All right. It's actually not that cool. to make it to that lighthouse before sunset. I don't know if you can see it. Look at how beautiful the sky is. We've been walking along the beach for like an hour, just watching the sunset slowly. And because of the clouds, it's like just gorgeous. I say this in almost every single travel vlog. If you're in a new place, go see the sunset. Just look at that. Look out. Look how cool that is. The sun is like peeking through the clouds. Be careful. If you fall, I'm getting it on camera. We made it, or almost made it to the lighthouse, almost made it.
dark now, which means you can't see me, which means we're either gonna pick this up tomorrow or back at the hotel if something interesting is happening. Overall, a day well spent in The Hague. We somehow found ourselves in a jazz bar because of her. <laughs> This is so 